All right, here we go. We are live. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Chris, and this is We Love Comics. And I have two unboxings I'm going to do, showing some comics that you may not see very often. But if you do, you might want to pick them up. It will always depend on what's in them that's going to be the real factor of these. So you don't want to just buy any one that I show without you doing research. Because that's one of the things I always make sure I specify when you are buying comics or anything when you are doing it with speculation or investment purposes in mind you definitely want to know what you're doing so you want to do a lot of research um, even if somebody you trust shows you a book or an investment opportunity uh, don't just buy the first thing you see make sure you do your own due diligence because in the end you're the one that gets affected whether it goes up or down and sometimes you need patience when it comes to investing so if, if you think every comic or every item you buy is going to go up a million dollars the first minute you bought it, you probably should not be investing. So keep in mind there's going to be ups and downs, and sometimes it can take a while for something to be profitable. But keep in mind, something like comics, they're not like milk. They will not expire. So if you have to hold on to them for a little while, getting them at a lower price, waiting for them to rise... That is a much smarter idea than the person who will wait all of that time, not buy them, and then buy them when they get too expensive or reach their very peak, because then you're going to lose money. And if you're losing more than you're winning, then you're obviously not doing something right. The good thing is once you realize that, you can always alter it. So we got a couple of people showing up. Four people are already hit the like button, so thank you for that. Come join the live chat because I always do a surprise subscriber shout out to the people that go into the live chat. You do not have to be a subscriber, but hopefully you will hit subscribe and find a couple of things on my channel that you might like. Um, just make sure if you have not cast your vote yet for the four comics that will be sent next month to get graded, Go to the community section after watching this video of my main page to scroll down one or two things and you'll see where you could vote for one of the comics that you would like to see get graded. The top three are pretty much almost locked, but it's still early because we have two or three more weeks before the voting ends. The last two are very close, so your vote could make the difference of one or the other getting sent out. So cast your vote if you haven't done it. All right, so we got enough people here. Let's put on the video camera so you can see these. Uh, and these are fairly inexpensive, too. So it's not anything that's going to cost you hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars. So now is the time to get these while they're cheap. So this one you can easily get, if you find it, for probably under $25 or less. Again, ask for deals, wait for deals. Just because somebody doesn't have a um, best offer option does not mean you cannot message them. Because I've done that on many occasions where I saved a lot of money. Alright. Now this one I was recommending a while ago. But I want to bring this one back up. Because there has been confirmation of a cartoon version of the movie. Now hopefully it will end up something really good. Like if they did with the Sony Spider-Verse. Or it could end up like they did with the killing joke. So again, there's no guarantees. But I think that is almost the test. And if it does well, I, I see this as a live action. I mean, if you saw the movie, once you see this, you'll know which movie I'm talking about. When you see the end credit scene, they've basically set this up. So to me, it's a matter of when, not a matter of if. But of course, there are no guarantees. So the first one, this is the Walmart 3-pack of Injustice, Gods Among Us. So there are three different comics in here. So if you can find this book, you could see it retailed for $5. Uh, good luck if you could find it for that. But I only paid $13.88 for this book. And this is still in the original shrink wrap. They don't show what the other comics are, but to me, this is the most important one so to me, what's inside is irrelevant because if that movie does well and they do eventually do a live action, which, again, I really think they're going to do, uh, these books are going to skyrocket. So the idea is to get them before that happens. So if it doesn't happen or if it doesn't, it's not successful, you didn't spend a lot of money. 
most people wait until prices rise and the demand is high before they purchase anything. That's the opposite of what you should do because you should buy low and sell high. And if you look at any news when it comes to the Dow Jones or some kind of stock or something, when do they talk about it? They don't talk about it when it's at its lowest point. They talk about it when it's at its all-time highs. That's the worst time to jump in. So make sure if you're going to invest, do it properly. So I cannot guarantee it, but paying under $20 for this book, I mean, if anything, it's a very good read. And I love the, um, not the actual video games themselves, but the, um, the cutscenes. It's like watching a movie, which is better than some movies that have actually come out in the cinema. So uh, if you haven't had the chance to watch the um, the mid the scenes in the video games, they have them on YouTube. Definitely worth watching. So this was a great series. Um, what they did with Superman, I love the idea. And considering they've been making them dark for how long now, which is really not what Superman's about, uh, this would be the perfect one for that. So again, that's Injustice Gods Among Us. That's the Walmart three pack. You'll probably be able to buy it easily for under $25. Like I said, I paid under $15 for mine. So deals are always out there. Now this one is kind of a potluck when it comes to the comics in them. But if you could find this, uh, this is the only one that I've ever seen. That doesn't mean it's the only one that exists. It just means this is very rare. So if you can find this book, I would highly recommend purchasing it. Again, don't overspend, and I'll tell you what I paid for it. Uh, this one's going to be more expensive than the one that I just showed, but I see some very good investment opportunity with this book in the long term. All right, so they tape this to the backing board. And I think they put it in an extra bag and board, so I'm going to take that out because they folded it over. Okay. And they put a little backing board. Okay. So this... Did they tape this? Okay. This is a Marvel Comic 3-pack. This has... Secret Wars number one, two, and three. You have the first appearance of, I think it's Titiana. I forget how it's pronounced, but that could potentially be the main villain of the She Hulk storyline. And there we go. I think the video camera froze. Give me a second. Just reset it. Yeah, hold on a second. I'm sorry. Video camera froze. Let me see if I can... There we go. Sorry about that. I don't know what happened. So it'll, it'll start back up again. I apologize. But this one, especially with the fact... That it's almost a no-brainer at this point that Secret Wars is going to be, I can't say inevitable, but I would be shocked if they don't do it. Now, this was a three-pack that came out in the uh, mid-80s. The weird thing is, these are actually not considered newsstand variants. Because they do not have the barcode. But... This is sealed, and like I said, this has the, the potential main villain of the She-Hulk TV show, but Secret Wars is going to be incredibly popular, so just one and two is going to be worth this. Now, like I said, this isn't cheap. This was originally sold for $1.69. It still has the original price tag of $1.35. So this is in pretty good condition. You can see it's worn a little bit here. I mean, considering how old this is, I'm surprised it's not ripped open. 
But this, if you can find this one, because there's a lot of different Marvel Comic 3 packs. A lot of times there's not many good comics in here. If you can find this one with issues 1, 2, and 3 of Secret Wars, this to me is a no-brainer. I paid for this one, and I think it's worth it even at the price I paid, $139.04. Weird shipping cost. This to me will probably be a very expensive book if, number one, the She-Hulk villain ends up being the first appearance in this comic, and then on top of it, if Secret Wars ends up being a reality, which they're pretty much setting it up to be, this book, if you can find that three-pack, it is a book that is going to be, uh, well, a combination of books that is going to be very rare, which means it's going to be very desirable, which means prices will go up. So if you have regular Secret Wars number one, two, and three, you know, there's a lot of copies out there. How many of these have you seen on eBay? And like I said, I've been going on eBay for years. I've only seen this the one time and I snatched it up. It was a buy it now. So if you can find that book, absolutely get it. But again, like I said, there's a lot of the Marvel 3 packs. You know, you got to see what's on the front and back. But when there's a key issue, and some of them have some pretty key issues. I've seen some with um, the first appearance of the Hobgoblin. I've seen some, I think I've seen Avengers 238. So there's a lot of really good comics in there, but some of them are going to be really expensive. To me, that price was a no-brainer on that, so I'd love to hear what you think about that. So that is Comic Book Collector Geek says, wow, it's pretty pricey. You should see some of the three-packs. Because again... It's not based on the comic, it's based on the rarity. This is a sealed three-pack with the first three issues intact, sealed. So this is different from the regular issues. So you can't factor it based on, oh, well, Marvel, Marvel Secret Wars number one is only worth $20 or whatever amount. So it's definitely something that's rare. And um, Guinness says, leave in the pack? Absolutely. Because if you take this out of the pack, it's no longer special. It's just now three issues of Secret Wars, which you could buy relatively cheap. So I would absolutely leave this in the three-pack. Because like I said, show me where you'll find one. Go look on eBay now. You probably won't see any for sale. So the idea is to be able to get things that most people do not have, which creates, if these become a popular series and those situations happen, or even if only one of them happens... We have a desirability of people wanting to buy the regular books. Somebody is going to pay through the nose for that. Because they'll find out it's rare. And some people like to collect things like myself that most people do not have. So you cannot factor the price on that three-pack as if they were three individual comics that you can get anywhere. So if you think it's too high, then you shouldn't buy them. But here's the thing I always tell people. If you have a million people, if you put this on an auction and a million people look at it and say, I don't want it, you only need one person to come along and say, I do want it for it to matter. So don't worry about if a million people say, oh, that's a waste of money. Oh, that's a waste of time. Oh, I would never buy that. You only need one person. So you got to look at things in a different perspective. So it may not be your cup of tea, and that's perfectly fine. I'm pretty good at speculating when it comes to investments with these comics. So with the fact that you have a potential major villain for the She-Hulk in issue number three, and you have the Secret Wars being set up in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, to me this is a no-brainer. So I promise you, if those two things happen, I can easily sell this probably between $500 and $1,000. Right now, it's not going to be worth that. But like I say all the time, when you are investi investing or speculating, you should not base things on the price that it is now or the price of where something has been. You base it on where it's going. So the beautiful thing about people that don't like this stuff means that I can get them for the cheaper prices. And if you've seen some of these three packs with the comics still intact... And these aren't bent or anything like that. These look to be in very good condition. I do not see any spine ticks along the spine. 
So yeah, this the blue part here kind of got all faded and everything, but the comics are in really good condition, considering there's no backing board, which I will put these in. So that's my recommendation. You do not have to follow what, uh, my advice, uh, but like I always say, do your own research. And Joey the Stuntmaster, the condition on these look incredible. The bag has no tears at all. The only quote-unquote damage is the blue lining here has some color loss, but who cares? So this is completely intact. It still has the original price tag on it. Um, the corners, as you can see, look really sharp. There are no spine ticks, so whoever had this took really good care of it. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to put a um, put this in a bag and board with a couple of backing boards, and it will support it and keep it in good condition. So these are high-grade books in a three-pack that is completely rare. So um, Joey the Stuntmaster says, I picked up an A-Team three-pack a few years ago, also issue of Turok Son of Stone two-pack. Yeah, so it will basically depend on the comics. If you buy a three-pack or a two-pack or whatever they do, um, and there's no good comics in it, it's probably not going to be worth anything. But Collector Comic Geek says, actually, I am seeing a high-grade number one goes for well over 100. So there you go. So that's just for issue number one. I have issue number one, two, and three in a original three-pack, never opened, in i would say easily 90 and up grade it's hard to see with this covering the bottom but from what i see they're in great condition but you buy what you love i'm making suggestions you do not have to follow them but if you like it hit the thumbs up button let's pick today's surprise subscriber shout outs and just to show the other book i highly recommend this is the walmart three pack of injustice gods among us I paid under $15 for that book. So if you're looking for something with a little bit of better price, that one is the one to do. But again, this one is not going to be as rare as this one. So I challenge anybody right now to go on eBay and see if they can find one of these three packs. If you do, post a link in the comments section. I bet if at most you'll find one. So to me, it's about the rarity of not what the particular comic itself is. So, again, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. You decide on what's best for you. And let's pick today's surprise subscriber shoutouts. We're going to go with Gun Z. And we're going to go with Kenneth Quaim Welsh. Both of you are today's surprise subscriber shoutouts. If either of you have a YouTube channel... If you want to post a link in the comment section to either a video specifically you want people to see or to your channel link, you can do that. If you'd prefer to do a uh, social network link, you can do that. Or if you sell anything on eBay or Etsy or any of those places and you want to share an auction or a sale, you can put a link instead. I will leave that up to you to decide. And just keep in mind that I do have to approve any link so it will not show up right away. I want to make sure it's appropriate for all audiences. Um, and it came from the nerd cases. How will you store it? I'm going to put it in a regular bag and board, like a golden age bag and board, and I'll put extra backing boards to give it support. And I'm going to leave it in the bag. I would, I would never open that bag because then it's just three regular comics. And to me, that makes no sense. So, uh, that's how I'm going to store it. So... If you see in the comment section the link to any of the surprise subscriber shoutouts, that means it has been approved, so it is viewable for all audiences. Go give them a like, go give them a subscription, go check out their sales, and maybe you'll find something you love. So, that's my video. If you like it, be like the 14 awesome people that were kind enough to hit the like button. If you haven't yet, if you do, it would be really appreciated. Hit subscribe if you haven't. Go to the community section of my main page and cast your vote on the four books, which one you think you would want to see. You guys are responsible for all four books this month, so I'm leaving it in your hands to pick which you think are the ones that you want to see. So thank you very much for the people that hit the like button. Thank you to all of you that joined the live chat, and if you're watching this later on, I appreciate you as well. So thank you for watching. Give our shout-outs a shout-out, and do not forget, it is not you, it is not I, it is We Love Comics. Leave in the comment section what you thought about these. 
And if you find one, hope you get a good price. Let me know what you did. Thanks a lot, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you next video.